Who's fired up? I want to start by thanking God for allowing me to be here, helping me get through all my struggles. I want to thank my great team. I want to thank the company. I want to thank the company for putting me in this position. I want to thank my wife, Lissa, by my side. I love her too. How many of you have a full heart today? My favorite thing about coming to these conventions is walking through the hallways of the MGM Grand and listening to all your stories. Every single one of you in this room have a unique story. You all came from a different place. You all have different adversity. I met a man yesterday upstairs. He's here battling terminal cancer. And he's here. I ran into my brother, RJ Ross, on Cash Rest Dance Team. Where's RJ? Man, this dude, this dude's rolling around in like a military grade wheelchair. Just the happiest dude I've ever met in my entire life. And I'm reminded of all the adversity that every single one of you had to face. But isn't it true that we're all battling with something in this room? Yes or yes? Every single one of us in this room, it may not be physical, but it might be emotional, might be spiritual, might be mental. We're all facing a battle. And I reminded myself this week of the disease that I've lived with my entire life. And my illness has not defined me, but my illness has been my blessing because it often has taught me that life has a beginning and life has an end. So why not live full of life? Why not bring the energy every day? Why not be fired up? Because one day it's going to be over. And you'll be a picture on the screen that will be celebrating memories of the past. And that's the reality. And that's the reality of life. I had a gentleman two days ago come to me in the lobby bar and I could see he was asking all the leaders this question. He asked five or six big leaders. He said, hey, how do you develop that mindset, that winning mindset? And here's what I told him. I said, it's simple. You see, God has blessed us all with a mountain that we get to climb. And every single one of us have our own mountain. And if you are so lucky to get to wake up in the morning and your heart is still beating, you're allowed to climb that mountain for one more day. And when you look right and you see your family climbing their mountain and you look left and you see their, your peers climbing their mountain, you're reminded that everybody is climbing their own mountain. See, climbing a WFG doesn't seem so difficult compared to some of the climbs that some of you have had to have in your life. I was sitting here at the, at the Wards Gal on Wednesday. Are we not a diverse company? And I was thinking how difficult it would have to have been for me and my family if we had to have immigrated here from a different country or if we were born in a society where we were oppressed and pushed down. There's some of you in this room that are facing real challenges. There's some of you that are facing some real issues right now in your life. But we are all blessed because we all still have a mountain to climb. Yes or yes? And then there's WFG. Who's grateful for WFG? See, WFG is the great lever. WFG is the lever that you pull and rise all the areas of your life. We've been sitting here for two days listening to men and women talk about how this company has improved their marriage, has improved their relationship with their kids, travel experiences, financial independence. See, winning in WFG makes everything better. All areas of our lives. And I hope you're fired up about that. You know that it's not our products that make us the best. It's not our comp that makes us the best. It's our people that make us the best. It's people just like you. 
It's people just like your leaders. It's the people that you heard from yesterday, and it's the people that you're going to hear from today. But I want to remind you of something. All the big leaders that you see on stage, all the people that you, I just can't wait to be like her. I just can't wait to be like him. I want to tell you something. They all started exactly where you started. But there's one difference between you and them. Who wants to know what that is? Who wants to know what that is? The difference between those on stage and those watching is a burning desire. The ones that are winning at a higher level have gone to a place inside themselves and they found that do or die mentality. They found that do whatever it takes ethically and morally to win for our family. And those are the ones that are winning at the highest level. But here's the good news. They all came to a convention just like this. But unlike those that leave unchanged, unlike those that leave and nothing changes, there's going to be a handful of you that leave this room today and you'll be changed forever. Let me tell you what winning looks like. The winners leave this convention and they make a decision, not on social media, not a declaration in front of their teams, but they look themselves in the mirror and they make a quiet decision that from this day forth, their business and their life will be changed forever. <clears throat> look, as I wrap here, 20 minus 10 is 10, but so is 15 minus five. There's a lot of big leaders in WFG running big hierarchies, running different systems. So I hope you didn't come here for a system tweak. Your EVC's job is to roll that out. This is the mindset. The mindset's the separator. The mindset is what you need to leave changed. So I hope that as you leave this convention, you find it in you to go to a place that maybe you haven't been yet. And you stay there until the job gets done so that when you get home, you can show up and step up and dream up like never before. Who's in for that? And it's my prayer for you that you have found that this week. And if you haven't found it yet, you're going to find it here this afternoon because this lineup is fire. Who's ready?